Welcome to the February Spotlight on Long-Term Care, brought to you by ProducersWeb.com. I'm Sarah Fletcher, and in this broadcast, we'll cover some of this topic's biggest trends and insightful research. This Spotlight on Long-Term Care is sponsored by... Personalized Brokerage Services. PBS works for me. For more information, please visit pbsworksforme.com. Economists estimate that as baby boomers enter retirement in 2019, healthcare costs will reach $4.5 trillion or more than 19% of the economy. In fact, according to the U.S. Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, spending last year rose to $2.5 trillion or 17.3% of the economy. This represents an increase from 16.2% in 2008 and marks the highest amount since the figure was first tracked in 1960. Finally, while this forecast does not include the impact of the proposed health care overhaul, it does reflect the effects of the economic slump that began in December 2007 and the aging of the baby boomers born between 1946 and 1964. Yesterday, nearly 120 assisted living advocates met up in Washington, D.C. as part of the Assisted Living Federation of America's annual Federal Fly-In Day, an event intended to educate policymakers on the importance of assisted living as a long-term care option. Also discussed among the advocates, who held more than 470 meetings with senators, congressmen, and staffers, were the differences between assisted living care and skilled nursing care. Those in the skilled nursing community, however, are also opposed to the Fairness in Nursing Home Arbitration Act and the Employee Free Choice Act, but support a national silver alert system to help locate wandering dementia residents. I'm Sarah Fletcher, and thanks for watching the Spotlight on Long-Term Care. To see more video spotlights on your favorite products and practices, find them on ProducersWeb.com and browse by topic.